They say cleanliness is next to godliness. When it comes to cleanliness of your laser power sensors, there might also be some very practical and down-to-earth considerations for keeping your sensor clean. Industrial laser applications, for example, can involve somewhat dirty processes. Material processing, such as cutting or drilling, can generate quite a bit of debris. Laser power sensors are very often used to monitor these processes so that they can be kept stable and predictable and to minimize downtime by giving early warning when preventive maintenance is needed. However, the debris from these processes can leave contaminants on the sensor surface. These contaminants, just by being there, can change the way the sensor absorbs light and thereby affect its performance. Moreover, sometimes the process in question can leave organic contaminants on the sensor surface, and these could then get burned on next time a laser beam arrives. In such cases, sometimes cleaning isn't even possible, and the sensor may need an expensive disc replacement. Another popular saying is that a milliwatt of prevention is worth a kilowatt of cure, suitably paraphrased. For many of our high-power sensors, Ophir offers a protective cover accessory. The sensor is completely blocked until it's time for a measurement to be taken. Then a shutter is opened to expose the aperture, the laser is measured, and the shutter closes again. The shutter uses a solenoid set as normally closed. The user, or the host system, sends an electrical voltage signal to open it, and then when the signal stops, the shutter automatically closes. When a sensor does need to be cleaned, simply blowing the contamination off before using the sensor can greatly reduce the risk of problems and keep the equipment at top performance for a longer period of time. Using canned air or dry nitrogen from a distance of six inches or more, lightly blowing off the sensors can remove most of the contamination. Turn the sensor upside down so the surface the laser hits on is pointing to the floor. Start a light flow of air while pointed away from the sensor and lightly sweep it across the sensor without increasing the flow. This will lift most of the dust or other contaminants from the sensor surface and then gravity will do the rest. When air cleaning is not enough, our usual recommendation for most absorber types is to simply use a tissue with a suitable cleaning agent. I say most absorber types because there are certain sensors that cannot be cleaned with such cleaning agents, but rather only with clean blown air. A table of recommended cleaning agents for each of the different absorber types can be found on our website. Mm -hmm.